So let us pray. Almighty God, as we come to the beginning of a new school year, thank you for all the talents and abilities and spiritual gifts that we need to continue on in your name. Help us to follow your plan for our lives. Lord, thank you for those gifts that you have given to us freely to serve you first and, and second to others so that your will is accomplished within us. Lord, fill our lives with trusted instructors and advisors who can lead us toward you and your promises. Help us to turn to you as we learn and grow so we can lead fruitful and prosperous lives. This is our intention for our students here at Shorter College. You fit here, second time around, or maybe third or fourth. But whatever the case may be, Lord, when they leave Shorter, that they are, their lives may be better by far for having attended this institution that we call Shorter College. Bless us then. In your name we pray. Amen. And for a scripture, John 14, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. God's word for God's people. Amen, amen. So now we are going to move forward and we hope that there are a lot of students uh, in Zoom land on today. We do see a lot of names out there. We say good morning to all of you and we pray that this is and will be a good and fruitful year for you. Now, um, we're going to uh, ready ourselves to present. Uh, first of all, let me introduce, uh, we're gonna ask Ms. Latoya Shockley to come forth. Give her a hand as she walks forth. This is our new success coach, Ms. Latoya Shockley. She hails from UAPD. So she has left UAPD to come and serve you and the needs of uh, Shorter College. So give her another hand so that we might be able to embrace her well. Good morning, Shorter College. At, good morning, as Reverend Williams stated, I am Latoya Shockley, and I will be assisting students with the last names A through M, and I will be working very closely with Mr. Holliday. And I look forward to working with you all. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Jackson. All right, um, Dr. Demetrius Gillen, come forward. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to those uh, that are on via the Zoom call as well. Thank you all for joining. And thank you for wanting to know what's going on at, uh, at Shorter College right now. We are in the process. May I take my mask off before you take my picture? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the process of um, getting, well, you know, this is our first week of school, right? And um, sometimes when you, uh, the best laid plans are not always what we uh, and uh, what we anticipate it to be. So there, there, there come, uh, there's some roadblocks and some stumbling blocks and those things that we anticipated that we thought that we had smoothed out uh, have become holes again. So we're asking you all to, uh, as we uh, cover these holes and we're asking you all for your patience, for your understanding and for your help as well. Now, if you you know that you had a classmate that was not here or don't think that are here, we're asking you to help us reach them. Because um, sometimes, you know, uh, I know that people change phone 
phone numbers, they change addresses, but you all may know how to find them or reach out to them. So I'm asking you to help us in that process to reach those students that we may be having uh, some difficulty in reaching because we don't have the correct address or we don't have the correct phone number, especially if the, the, the phone number, if you can get us the phone number, then we'll, we'll, we'll do the rest. So today is more like, uh, it's more like a training for you because I know that uh, some of you are uh, having difficulty in getting into, even just maybe signing onto the computer, maybe getting into CAMS, getting onto Canvas, getting into Cengage, or any of that, or trying to find your classes, even once you get into Canvas and try to navigate and find your homework assignment. So today we thought that we would just open this up for all those persons that are, and, and, and those of you that are at home, if you have access to your computer, please access your computer if you're having problems getting on. Um, I'm gonna bring up a young lady that is the academic coordinator in my office. And she's also going to be teaching college orientation one, two, three, and four. So uh, it, it will be, it will behoove you to maybe sign on to your computer because she's going to help you navigate how to access Canvas or anything or uh, CAMS, uh, Cengage, all of that. So if you if you readily have a computer at home and, and can uh, get to it, and those of you that are sitting here, if you can access your class or Canvas or whatever, take out your phone. If, uh, so when she's walking you through this, that you will be able to um, you'll be able to have have a hands-on um, experience in uh, learning how to. And I know that there are some of you that are sitting in here and say, no, you know what, Dr. Gilbert, I won't, I, I'm, I'm, coming to, I'm coming to campus, I'm going face to face. But guess what? You are going to, <laughs> you're going to, you're going to have to get on campus because even though that you are doing face to face, the instructor is going to put assignments on campus that you have to navigate because guess what? We're trying to, uh, to uh, not use as, uh, not use paper anymore. You know, my previous um, academic coordinator, everything, she came in, all that paper that was out on her, on her desk, she, she put that stuff in the cloud. And so she, she says to me, well, Dr. Gilbert, when you get ready to access it, it's in the cloud. I'm like, what? So, you know, so we all, we all, we all, we all, and I'm going to say that again, we all, we all, we all are going to have to learn technology. And I know technology seems to be scary, but let me tell you, the more and more you get, um, the more and more you use it, the more and more it becomes friendly. Okay. So if you don't use it, Yes, it's the big elephant in the room. Well, we want to chip away at that elephant today, okay? We want to chip it away and make it um, as small as an ant. Can we do that? Can we try and do Okay, so now, Ms. Hanley. Oh, oh, I didn't know this you wanted to say. Okay, now, um, Dr. Wimberly, if you will come forth. I didn't know that you had something to say. And she can. Good morning, everybody. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, we just thank you for coming out via Zoom and in person. Let me make sure, let me say this. Um, I'm bringing up Ms. Kim in just a minute. Um, please make sure that anything with financial aid, you have completed it. 
Uh, some of you may, let me, let me go back and introduce myself. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. I'm the other associate dean. I'm the associate dean for academic affairs and assessment. And so Dr. Gilbert and I serve in the same office. Uh, I do work with Second Chance Pell, but I also assist on campus with many things that we need. In addition to that, in addition to that, I uh, also work with uh, adult basic education that we, we've got on, on, on campus now. Uh, that's the GED and distance um, dual and concurrent enrollment in Second Chance Pell, assessment and accreditation. So I have quite a few things that I have to do, but yet and still, um, everything that we do is about everybody. And so I have a heart for students. And so I, I, I'm just here to serve and do whatever I can. And she and I, we back each other up. But I'm going to go ahead on and bring this young lady up. Uh, she just started with us on Monday. Uh, she is a, 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 a she is um, uh, uh, she is a native where I'm from. <laughs> she's from Crossford, Arkansas. But also, but more than that, she's a, a great speaker, a great presenter. And in all honesty, yesterday, last, yesterday uh, evening, we were brainstorming. And she slowly walked in there and I just kept saying, I, I kept looking at her. And I said, hey, do you need something? She's like, I need, to, I need to, can I suggest something? And so when she, what she suggested was to do this so that we can make sure the students had what they needed. And so guys, let me say this. If you are struggling in Kansas, please, please, please come by my office and we'll make sure that we get whatever you need taken care of because I want you to succeed. And your success really matters to me. If we don't have you and have you doing something and have it, if we don't have you here and we don't have you successfully doing it, then we haven't we haven't done what we're called to do. And so um, I just want to bring uh, uh, Miss Miss Bianca uh, Kenley up. She has a, a master's degree in, in leadership. What's your undergrad in? Communication. Oh, uh, no wonder. <laughs> Her undergrad in communication. She is uh, she has a very sweet spirit. She is a go getter. Uh, let me say this, we don't look like what we've been through. None of us do. She has a story and a testimony and that you, you will hear much later in the semester. However, uh, she walked in just trying to get things done. So I'm gonna give it up. Uh, and, and let me say this, when she finishes this, if any of you guys via Zoom or here have any questions or concerns, please call the Office of Academic Affairs. She'll be there to assist you and we will consult. Without further ado, let's bring up Ms. Beyonce Kelly. Let's give her a hand, guys. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. All right. So we're just going to cover a few things because here at Shorter College, home of the Bulldogs, we want you to be great. We want you to succeed. I know that it's an adjustment for everyone. So bear with us because we're all learning, right? All right, so I'm gonna cover a few things today. So if you have your phone or your computer, um, um, let's get that out. And we're gonna go um, through a few different things. I'm gonna define a few things for you today. But go ahead and take out your phone, take out your computer. If you're on Zoom, you can, um, still log on to different things without it logging you off of your Zoom. So you're safe with that, all right? So here at Shorter College, there are different um, ways and avenues and resources that we have. So I wanna take a moment and define those things for you, all right? First thing, what's what? How do I access different things? And I'm going to go through and show you each one. But the first thing is shortercollege.edu. Every link that you will ever need is here. Admissions, academics, financial aid, information on Shorter College, faculty, staff is all right here. So I encourage you just in your free time, go to shortercollege.edu. Kind of look through there, go through the different tabs, um, look at the mission and the vision of Shorter College so that you have a little bit more of a background of what we're about and what we're trying to accomplish here at Shorter College. The next thing is how do I contact people or how are people, faculty and staff contacting me? So this will be through your student email. Now, not your personal email, but your student email. And you will know 
but it's your student email because it will end in the shorter college edu all right next thing i'm going to check a couple of chats i'm going to open this up real quick Awesome. Okay, so again, that's how you can contact others. The next thing will be class. How do I access class assignments, quizzes, syllabus, all of that good stuff? How do I know what's going on with my classes? This will be through Canvas, and I'll walk through that with you as well. Now, if you hear the word Cengage, Cengage is where you find your textbooks. And then financial aid is something that is obviously very, very important. And it's something that has to be done in order to be registered for your classes. So we also use something called Campus Ivy. And this is where you can access different forms, um, your FAFSA and all of that good stuff, all right? So now what we're going to do, we're going to go to Shorter College website. So if you're following along with me, we just went to shortercollege.edu and here is the, let's go to the home page. This is what the home page looks like. You have an about tab to learn more about Shorter College and the history of Shorter College. You have an admissions tab here you can kind of get more information um, on financial aid eligibility, scholarship info, financial aid documents, academics. So just kind of go through these tabs and you'll be able to see um, just about everything that you may need on a daily basis. All right, so we are going to go back to the home page. All right. So after the home page loads, you'll see these different tabs, right? So the first thing that we're going to look at is our student email. So you're going to click there. Now, this is where your professors, faculty and staff will communicate with you, whether it's about upcoming events, um, assignments, if something changes, um, calendar events. So what you'll do, you'll log in here with your email address, your school email. Good morning, and you're going to go to Outlook. Outlook will be where all of your emails will come to you. So you're going to click Outlook.
All right, so on Outlook, let's say you want to send your professor an email. So you're going to start here, add new message. And you'll get a box like this, right? So let's say most of you all you'll see on your syllabus, you'll be able to find your professor's name if you need to email them. So when you're sending an email, your professor's name will more than likely pop up here, or if you need to contact someone specifically um, at Shorter College, you can search it here if you start typing in their name, and then you, it's just a simple send, all right? Right here is where you'll receive those emails. So, for example, Let's say I have an email here from my professor for college orientation one. Okay, so another um, avenue that you'll be using is Canvas. So on the home page, you'll click Canvas. Give me one second. This one, I'm logged into my employee one, so I'm gonna. Why did you set up this account? Why did you set up this account? Oh, it was yesterday. So today? Yeah. Then it's probably not, not the system's probably not in the system with that account too. No, this is just the student training. Right. When did you set set them, set it up into the today. system today? So it might not be in, in the system as you're saying it takes a couple hours to intake. Do you have another account you can log into? Yeah, I'm doing it from my employer account. Do you need to share that one? Yeah, I'm going to share. I've already stopped shared on this one. Okay. 
Okay, so whenever we start talking about Canvas, Canvas is what you will use to access your classes. So for example, you'll see little boxes like this. And you'll click on it. All right, so this is will this will be your home page. This is your assignments tab. Basically, this is where you'll be able to find all of your assignments. They'll be listed here, for example. Here is Chapter one, journal entries, for example. So you'll click on this if you're going to submit an assignment and you'll click submit assignment. And you'll go here, you'll click browse and you will upload your assignment from your computer folder. You'll basically click on the assignment, you'll hit open, you'll hit submit assignment, and it will download to Canvas. This is how your professors will be able to view all of your work that you're turning in every week. Okay, next thing, discussions. Some of your professors may have discussions for your class that will be graded. So for example, you'll click here. Introduce yourself. Or your professor may have a certain assignment or a certain topic that you guys will want to discuss. Next tab is grades. This is where you'll be able to view all of your grades. You'll be able to see how many points there were and you'll be able to see your final grade down here at the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a very important piece. So make sure that you take notes because it is a little tricky. So in assignments, to access your books in Cengage, you'll go to assignments, Okay, so I will go to accounts, settings, Okay, that was a, a step that I missed. So when you go to accounts, make sure since a lot of us will be going online that you add your photo. So when you go to accounts, you'll go to settings and you'll click on that photo and you'll be able to upload your photo. Now for your books, again, you'll go to the course, publish course here. On this side on the tab, you'll scroll down and you'll go to settings.
Once you have gone to settings right here, you have to go within the course. Now up here, you're gonna hit navigation. And here you see I have Cengage, but normally Cengage may be at the bottom. So you'll have to drag it up to the top. So it will now appear right here. This will load and you'll have access to your books here. And for example, this is the book for this particular course. Once you have linked it to your course, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to see all of the chapters, um, all of the table of contents, and you'll just be able to click and open it up. So that's pretty much it. Um, as far as how to access everything, I am going to check the chats. If you guys have any questions, I'll give you an opportunity to ask these questions in the chat. And while you're asking questions, I will also post these links into the chat group right now. Okay, someone said, um, let's see. Don't have a settings button. So if you're looking for um, settings in Office 360, which will be your email, Okay, if you guys have um, further questions as well, I'm going to put my email address in the chat. Now in Office 360, if you're in your email, this particular button is where you can find the settings right here at the top. The little dial button. So a common question that I'm getting is, will my classes show in Canvas? Yes, they will. We are working on um, getting the instructors plugged in for all of the classes. For example, me, I am new, new. So they're still getting my classes together. So eventually you will see them, but just continue to check your email because that's how you will know, hey, 
we're still getting the course together in Canvas, but yes, you will be able to see all of your classes in Canvas. Right now, I'm going to post my email address so that you can send emails to me if you have further questions. If you are having issues and you absolutely can't get into Canvas, please email me because we definitely need to make sure your login information is correct and that you have access to that. Same for your email. Now on your email, if it's been a while and you don't remember your password, whenever you type in your username, there's a little small fine print that says, forgot password. So you'll just need to reset your password. Your classes, yes, they will eventually all, again, show up in Canvas once they are published by the professor. We're still working on getting that done. But again, continue to check your email. Um, I sent my students an email today to just let them know, hey, I'm getting it together as soon as possible. Um, but in the meantime, just because you don't necessarily see all of your classes, take the time to kind of go in there, make yourself familiar, set up that photo in Canvas so that your professors can put a, a name and a face, um, and just kind of get, get familiar with that as well. But again, continue to check your email, not your personal email, but your shorter college email. Do we have any other questions that you guys want to put in the chat? Oh, for those of you that are here, my email is B as in boy, C as in cat, A as in apple, N as in no, L as in low, E as in egg, Y as in yes, so B Canley at shortercollege.edu. All lowercase. Sure. B as in boy, C as in cat, A as in apple, N as in no, L as in low, E as in egg, Y as in yes. At shortercollege.edu B Canley at shortercollege.edu now if you just so happen to misplace that you can in your search box when you're typing in who it's to if you type in Bianca B-I-A-N-C-A or you type in B C A my email will pop up in the search box if you don't remember the whole entire thing. And you can also pull up your search um, address book and it will pop up there as well. In the chat group, you all received an email a little while ago of another Canvas tutorial. So I'm also gonna post this in the chat group as well. So copy and paste this to your personal computer or your device so that you can use it if you get stuck. And this tutorial, it's on YouTube.
I don't see any other questions. If you have questions. And in the chat group, I also posted um, just the website to Shorter College. And again, everything that you need, you can find it on that particular website. But the main tabs that you will be using is student email right here. It will take you directly to Outlook and you'll put in your shorter college email and right here, Canvas. Again, Canvas is where you'll do all of your coursework and inside of Canvas is where you'll be able to access your textbook. Do we have any more questions? Okay, so again, if you're unable to get into your email or to your Canvas, send me an email. Now, for those of you who said, hey, I was able to get into Canvas, but I'm not seeing anything on my particular class that I'm taking, that is more than likely because we are still getting the class set up. So give it a day or two before you start seeing anything on uh, Canvas. And once you email me, if you're having trouble, I will point you in the right direction um, to help get that set up for you correctly. But that is the main, um, just the, the big important component is Canvas, because that will be what you will need to turn in all of your assignments, to keep up with your syllabus, to keep up with those assignment dates and schedules and quizzes and your, your final grade. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, Ms. Kenny. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Kenny did come up at, at the webinar. I would just like to say this, please once again to everybody that's, that's here and being gone. One, if you cannot do any, or if you get into your campus and you do not see any classes, Please make sure you, you um, notify Academic Affairs. All courses should be loaded by this evening, and we need everybody to go in and check in and sign their, their classes as soon as possible. Uh, online is a lot different from in class. Lastly, if there's anything you need to take care of uh, regarding financial aid, please do so. But thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're here to help you. Thank you, Dr. Wimberly. Now, students, we know that many of you um, 
perhaps even in uh, via Zoom and uh, perhaps sitting in the um, out here in front of us uh, may have or may have had some problems with Campus Ivy. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Uh, try to remember your uh, all of your email uh, addresses. Try to remember your passwords and um, your ID so that you will have them before you. I know that at this point, it seems like we have about three or four, uh, at least three um, areas of where we need to go in and contact or, 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 or go into uh, an organization or, for an example, Campus Ivy, or you might want to email me, or you might want to email Mr. Mr. Hallerman or Ms. Uh, Latoya Shockley, uh, all of those things, it's a lot to remember, but we're just asking you to be patient this first week, especially so that we can get the job done. Our plans are to make sure that we have all of our SGA on uh, together. We are going to be uh, contacting SGA officers uh, within the next week to try and see about getting together with our um, um, we're, we're, what we're going to do, our plans for what we're going to do this year. Uh, there are other plans that are going to be coming forth uh, in other organizations. We, need, we just need your patience because if you remember, uh, in March of this year, we all had to scatter and scatter fast because, because of COVID-19. So now what we're doing is trying to rein it in so that we can conquer it and not let it run us so much. We're, we, we're the ones who's wanting to make sure that we run um, what we're doing here on the campus. So just give us a bit of time, just a little bit, and we promise, and if you're having any issues with your instructors, you still have uh, your advisors and you also have your um, success coaches to connect with, to say, hey, I'm not able to get in. I don't know what's going on. This is the third day, this is the fourth day. Give us something so that we can uh, document it, so that we'll have it before us. We're here to help you and to be with you. Our intent is that no person is left behind, nobody fails. That is what we intend to have. So thank you very much. Um, going forward, I, I suppose next week will be our first uh, attempt to trying to do um, the uh, alma mater. We won't do it today, but we thank you for your time and your attendance. We have it already, um, uh, we've already made sure that we give you credit for today. Thank you and thank you, dear Zoom Line, for your participation as well.